Hi, it's Adrienne. How are you doing today? So I'm back with affordable back to school uh, skincare today. And so um, I actually have a whole bunch of very full products instead of very empty products because I'm going to be trying out these uh, as we go back to the school year. And so I thought I'd go ahead and tell you about them too. So to go ahead and start out, my um, primer or my two primers today, Super Goop Glow Oil in SPF 50, and then the ELF uh, Halo Glow in Fair One. And so these are what I have on as my primer today. And so I've been going ahead and seeing um, what my different primer combinations will do with the house labs. Um, this is in Fair Cool, which is shade number 50, is what I'm wearing. And so far, I haven't had it uh, behave badly with any of the combinations that I put with it so far. So, so far, so good. So I really am enjoying this. And um, very glowy finish and very fun finish there. And uh, let's see, as far as what I have on for the rest of everything, um, I did go ahead and use the uh, MAC bronzer again, uh, Light Rosy Radiant. So that's what I have there. And let's see, the ColourPop, this is in Brute Flute as far as uh, the cheek, and it's a super shock cheek. And yeah, I did hit pan on it there. So that's what I've got on there. Um, I did go ahead and add in a little bit of the Catrice Supreme Rose Beam Highlighter. So that's what I have on as far as the highlighter goes there. And as far as the eyes go, used a classic palette that I just now got back into my collection. And it's a Desert Lights by Flower Beauty. And this is a beautiful palette. I would suggest it for anybody. And the formula is amazing and the shine is just beautiful. Um, as far as what I did today, I did this on the inner corner. Again, from the bottom all the way up to the brow. And then I did this shade on the lid. Um, I did this shade in the crease, a little of this on the outer corner and added in a ColourPop gel eyeliner as well. And so that's what I have on the eyes there. The way the look turned out is kind of like this. And I went ahead and added in, let's see, this one is uh, Twilight. And this is one of the ColourPop uh, lippy sticks. And then I went ahead and used this one, which is... Hold on. Hold one moment, please. And this one is Brink. So, uh, just been really getting back into lip liners. I haven't done them forever in a day, but they're helping to keep, or to keep my lipstick from going way up and way down. So, um, yeah, it's a good combo, too. So that's how that turned out. As far as what the hair is doing, thank you, T-I-G-I, -I, uh, let's see, Hairdressing Academy. They went ahead and did my hair, and yeah, it's a good haircut, and I really like it, so thank you very, very much. I appreciate it, and it was fun to get to be in with all the students for a little while. And um, hmm, let's see, what else did I do here? Oh. Um, I did go ahead and use the Glowish as far as my uh, finishing powder today, and it's in fair, so that's what I have on there. The usual suspects, the next Thicket Stick It uh, for the brow, and then I did go ahead and use the Sky High um, as far as the mascara today. So that's what I have on there. And going ahead and getting into these products, a couple of them um, I've been using, well, a couple of them I haven't really finished up yet. Uh, the Daily Brightening Solution by Versed, and um, I've been using it off and on. I haven't been, like, wowed by it. What I did finish up 
by Versed uh, was their cream, their night cream, and that was really nice. It had red algae in it, so it helped your face plump. And um, what I went ahead and bought another bottle of was the Essence uh, Hello Good Stuff, and this is supposed to be a dupe for the Glow Recipe, I think. And this is what I've been using um, as a moisturizer in the morning. But I've also been mixing it with the Mycin, um All-in-One Snail Repair Cream. And I just opened this one up. So um, these are really nice. They last like three or four months. And so um, they also help your skin to heal. So really nice product right there. And what I got that's new that I haven't had is um, actually some really affordable face care from Trader Joe's. So the watermelon overnight face mask, which tends to go ahead and sell out every time they do it. And so I picked up a bottle of that and it has sold out at my Trader Joe's already. Um, but it's a really nice gel overnight mask. Kind of looks like that. And, um, and it smells really good too. Again, it's supposed to be a dupe for the Glow Recipe one. And then the other new product I got was um, another one from Trader Joe's. It's called Nourish um, Antioxidant Facial Serum. And so this one has resveratrol in it and uh, encapsulated vitamin C in it as well. So I did go ahead and pick up that. And um, I did use this one a really long time ago, but I forgot about it. So. These are going to be my new, very affordable skincare uh, night times. And um, I do have one other serum. Um, this is from Misha. It's a Time Revolution Night Repair Pro B Ampule. And so it has probiotics and prebiotics and all sorts of good stuff in there for you. And this one you can get over at Amazon. Uh, this one you can get over at Ulta. And like I said, with these two, you can go ahead and get them at Trader Joe's. Uh, this one, again, you can get on Amazon. And so it's all good skincare, but not really expensive skincare. And I just thought for right now, with going back to school, the money just disappears. Getting ready for the holidays, money just disappears. When you're um, a YouTuber and you get into this time of year, you're trying all the Christmas products. So again, the money whoop, disappears. And so I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I found as far as um, skincare that I can go ahead and uh, use and enjoy, but it isn't going to go ahead and break the bank or anything. And uh, so that's what I have. And I hope that you've really enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later. Bye.